Asalaamu As Alaikum and hello to everyone. Just been watching some videos um, and reading some comments. Um, re watching the video like I was watching a video like um, a Muslim man beating his wife and reading the comments. Then I was watching a video um, Afghans um, get their daughters married off really early and burn them and do this and that. First of all, to all the non-Muslims out there, uh, bring me one verse from the Quran that actually says that if your wife leaves you, just beat the living daylights out of her, kill her. Bring me one verse from the Quran that says, um, torture your wife to death. Bring me one verse from the Quran that says, get your daughters married off at the age of eight, nine and ten. You will find nothing in the Quran, even better if you could read the Quran in Arabic, because when they translate it in English, it's not the same meaning, because the words don't match, because it's a little bit different. So that's, I mean, like, I don't understand. Because what it is, in Islam, people are, what it is, okay, there are Muslims out there who don't understand Islam, they don't read the Quran, they don't learn about Islam, and they don't follow the religion, they follow their culture, they follow the teachings from their mother and their father, um, I don't know, uh, you know, from here and there, we have to do, our, you know, they have their own rules, and they don't follow Islam, they don't follow what the Quran is saying, they don't follow none of it. And there are lots of Muslims who are actually doing that, and yes, they are. And and the thing that's funny is that people watch these videos. Oh my God, Islam is this, Islam is that. Oh my God, is that what they do? I mean, why not go and do your own research? Why not go and learn? I mean, if someone says something to me, I'm I'm like, oh really? Is it? Oh, let me go and find out for myself. Why would I sit there and watch videos on YouTube and then believe that this is what this religion teaches? No. I mean, clever people go out and look and research and find information and find the truth. Because the funny thing is that I don't understand is that we're too busy worried about Islam and all what the Muslim men are doing and what the Muslim women are doing and this is going on and that is going on. But how about we look at our own countries like the UK? Recently, I've just found out that our own country, UK, is such a fantastic, brilliant country. It's so great that there's nothing great about it, actually. Because... Innocent parents, I mean, there's so many things going on. Innocent parents are, are losing their children. This government, I mean, the, the, the UK, England, Great Britain, um, I mean, something happens and children are dragged away from their parents. And parents lose their children. Innocent Innocent, loving, caring, kind parents are losing their children to social services, more like social perverts, paedophiles and rapists, and tell lies, and um, the hell visitor telling lies, um, the doctors telling lies, and all these people, professionals telling lies against innocent, loving, caring, kind parents, yeah, and ripping families apart. So many parents have, I mean, uh, I don't know, but I heard that there's, uh, I mean, I roughly don't know how many, but something like 90,000 children in care. That is a hell of a lot of children in care to be in foster care, foster care, care homes where they're being drugged. I mean, what a fantastic country that is, isn't it? Oh, Islam, Mm, I don't see any Muslim person dragging their children, other people's children away from them. Islam is about keeping families together. It's about don't even, you know, so strict that, you, you know, you have to talk to your family members and you have to talk to other Muslims. And if you don't talk to them, more like, just say three days have gone by and you haven't spoken, you're not a Muslim no more. That's how deep it is. 
stealing and taking people's children and dumping them into care homes and telling lies about parents and taking their children and put um, I mean parents especially the poor parents that are on welfare or they don't have enough money but no we don't look at what we're doing we're too busy looking at what Islam is doing and too busy like um, what else is going on drugging um, I mean these vaccines, polo and this and that, drugging innocent little children with all these drugs. And what else is going on? Um, a paedophile. Oh yeah, really now. Uh, paedophiles only get like six, seven months in prison here in the UK. What else? Um... There's so many other things that are going on. There's so many other things that are going on. The government sides with the criminals. But we, we don't see. We don't see what our own government is doing. We're always too busy pointing our fingers at other people. I mean like saying that um, child brides and all this and that and everything. But you know little girls. Little girls like at the age of 9, 10 are having sex children are smoking and drinking alcohol children are out till like 11 12 o'clock in the night and a lot of children are not even educated and we're too busy pointing our fingers at islam and the muslims are doing this and the muslims are doing that and a lot of non-muslims a hell a lot of non-muslims are oppressing their girlfriends their wives and what is also happening here is that a guy would be going out with a girl and the next thing you know the girl would fall, fall pregnant and the guy would just walk away and the girl's on or she'll be on income support or I don't know welfare whatever, whatever you call it wherever you may be I mean what kind of a life is that and then we're saying that Islam and Muslims are like that my religion Islam teaches me to go and get married not to go around sleeping with different guys and go around sleeping with different girls it doesn't teach me that here on a Friday and Saturday night people get so drunk that some people get so so drunk and so high on drugs that they're dead and some of them get so high on drugs and alcohol that they think they're Superman and stuff like climbing on buildings and stuff next thing you know they drop off and fall and die so many things are happening but we're just so busy like um, I mean, everything in this country, like in, in the UK, is so expensive that parents are finding it really hard. Single people are finding it really hard. The only people that are benefiting are the really, really rich people. All the other people are suffering. Gas, electricity has gone up. But no, we're too busy pointing our finger at Islam and the Muslims are doing this. Yes, there are problems in Islam and the Muslims. But at least someone like me is saying, yeah, we do have these problems. But don't you think you should be sorting out your own problems? I mean, people that are uh, got like disabilities are being sent to work. Someone who's blind was on benefits or welfare, you know, whatever you call it. Been, uh, you, you, I'm sorry, you can't be on benefits no more. You have to go and work. How is a blind person supposed to go and work? Someone who can't see. Oh no, but we always still point our fingers at Islam and Muslims, don't we? Parents are finding it really hard to bring up their children and you know what's going to happen oh hang on a second you haven't got no money you haven't got nothing do you know what we're going to do we're going to take your children off you and then we're, we're going to uh, we're going to come along with the police and so she says we're going to come along with the police we're going to tell a whole bunch of lies come and take your children off you put them in foster care homes where there's paedophiles and rapists and then maybe by the end of the week or the end of the year your child will be dead because it'll be tortured by some foster care home carer or foster carer but in the meantime, they can't be bothered to give um, more benefits to their to the parents to look after their children properly. But they do give more benefit, uh, yeah, more benefits to the foster carer who gets I don't know roughly about two hundred pound a week for one child if they foster a child. But where a parent will only get um, I don't know sixty pound a week for just taking care of their own child. But why is that the foster carer gets more money? It doesn't make sense. 
and then people like Jimmy Jimmy Savile will come along into foster care homes where those poor children are and then sexually abuse them and assault them but that's okay but that's okay isn't it we we non-muslim people we don't see that do we but we're too busy pointing our fingers at Islam and Muslim that's all I really wanted to say that we should as Muslims I do look at my own like what other Muslims are doing and I do say you know you know you're in the wrong and also just for the record if any Muslim person is listening um, subhanallah that Muslim children are also being taken into care homes and they are going through the same thing but no one is actually doing nothing about that so many other things are happening everybody's kind of like quiet they just can't be bothered to stand up and say you know this is wrong this is right this is right this is wrong this is what we should be doing anyway that's all I wanted to say thank you very much for listening and watching assalamu alaikum and bye